Hello everyone, myself Professor D.D. D. Kale and today we are going to discuss the petroleum refining and processing. The crude oil is by far the most used feedstock today in the world. Shale gas and coal can be other two feedstocks of sizable size and importance. Almost 90% of the crude is used to manufacture different type of fuels. Automotive fuel has the maximum demand. The refining process consists of separating the crude into different fractions of increasing boiling points from 40 degrees centigrade to 400 plus degrees centigrade. These fractions are further treated or refined to make fuels of desired properties. In achieving this, monomers and other petrochemicals are also produced. The course reviews the relevant properties of crude oil and the basic separation into seven or eight fractions by atmospheric distillation. These fractions then further are processed and the main aim is to use the fuels of better properties. Thus, catalytic reforming helps to enhance octane number of fuels using light ends distillate. The cracking process breaks or cracks the large molecules into small molecules containing smaller number of carbon atoms. So catalytic process is catalytic cracking and hydro cracking is catalytic and in presence of hydrogen. After this, the hydro treating is described. The upgradation of fuels through alkylation, isomerization and olefic condensation are discussed next. In all these lectures, the process chemistry, preparation and regeneration of catalyst and the process variables are discussed. Finally, the upgradation of high boiling residue through whiz breaking and thermal cracking are discussed. 